the abdominal oblique muscles. The abdominal oblique muscle group forms the lateral abdominal wall. The two muscles in this group are the external oblique and the internal oblique, with the internal oblique lying deep to the external oblique. This muscle group is active during flexion and or rotation of the trunk and also functions to increase intra-abdominal pressure to facilitate bowel and bladder activity. Let's take a look at the landmarks. We have the lower ribs, the abdominal aponeurosis, and the iliac crest. The origin of the abdominal obliques is on the ribs and the abdominal aponeurosis. And the abdominal obliques insert on the iliac crest. Bilateral contraction of the abdominal obliques causes spinal flexion and unilateral contraction causes side bending or rotation. The rectus abdominis and iliopsoas assist this muscle group in spinal flexion, and the ipsilateral quadratus lumborum assists during spinal side bending and rotation. The lumbar paraspinal muscles oppose this abdominal oblique muscle during spinal flexion, and the contralateral quadratus lumborum oppose the muscle during spinal side bending and rotation. Here are the clinical findings for the abdominal oblique trigger points. Clients with abdominal oblique trigger points will typically complain of pain deep in the epigastric regions, sometimes associated with heartburn or hiatal hernia, groin pain, pain in the testicles, pain in the bladder area, and sometimes pain in the lower abdominal region in general. Oftentimes, I hear clients complaining of belching, stomach distension, and diarrhea. Here are some activating and reactivating factors for these particular abdominal oblique trigger points. Clients that start a new abdominal exercise program will usually activate these trigger points. Punching or kicking from a cardio kickboxing or martial arts class will often do that. Visceral disease such as a peptic ulcer or some type of intestinal parasite will also activate these trigger points. And then a scar that results from some type of abdominal surgery will activate abdominal oblique trigger points. Impact trauma directly to the abdomen itself will often activate these. Straining related to constipation, extensive coughing, And emotional stress is a big factor in activating abdominal trigger points. And then lastly, we have prolonged sitting in a twisted position. This activates these trigger points because it causes a sustained contraction and overload of that particular muscle. Some associated trigger points for the abdominal obliques include the adductor magnus, and the quadratus lumborum because of its function and similar referral patterns. Clients with abdominal oblique trigger points are very commonly misdiagnosed with heartburn, peptic ulcer, gallstones, dysmenorrhea or painful menstrual cramping, rib subluxation, and bowel disease.